were according to reports that are now emerging from number 10 Downing Street. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is likely to resign by the end of today. This is how quickly things are likely to unravel for the British Prime Minister, the man that you're looking at on your screens who managed to survive a vote of con no confidence just very recently. But now there are reports that are emerging that in the face of the mutiny that he's facing from members of his own cabinet, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will quit before the end of day today. And there will be a new Tory leader who will be elected as the Prime Minister of Britain by autumn later this year. And until then, Boris Johnson will stay on as the Prime Minister. Now remember, Boris Johnson has lost almost a third of his cabinet and resignations, of course, continue thick and fast. Nearly about 50 members of his cabinet have resigned since Tuesday. And this report comes just after he'd appointed a new Chancellor, Nadeem Zahavi, who took office just on Tuesday. But interestingly, after taking office on Tuesday, he's now called for Boris Johnson to quit. In a tweet, he's told his Prime Minister that the situation is simply untenable and it is only likely to get worse from here on. So this is the latest that is unfolding in British politics at 10 Downing Street, where Boris Johnson, according to reports that have emerged, is likely to step down by this evening. He will continue as the Prime Minister until autumn, till a new Tory leader will take over as the new Prime Minister of Britain. This, this of course, is the big breaking story that we are tracking on beyond at this hour. There's been tremendous amount of pressure on Boris Johnson and finally it appears that he's buckled under pressure because of the mutiny that he'd been facing from members of his own cabinet. And to get us more updates in terms of what's been happening at 10 Downing Street, we're joined in by our correspondent Sally Patterson who's joining us live from London. Sally, things have unraveled pretty fast for the British Prime Minister and tell us more about these reports that have emerged that say that Boris Johnson will quit as the Prime Minister of Britain by this evening. Absolutely. Absolutely. As you say, it really has been a whirlwind time, especially for the Prime Minister. This is really surprising, this news that we're hearing first thing this morning, UK time, because last night, local time, the Prime Minister was adamant that he wasn't going anywhere, even when some of his closest allies, including the brand new Chancellor, Nadim Zahawi, turned up at number 10 to tell him he needs to go. He continued to say he wasn't going anywhere. He had a mandate by the people and he wasn't about to quit. He also surprisingly ended up firing another of his cabinet members just as everyone else was leaving on their own accord. He decided to get rid of one more. He said that Dominic Raab was, sorry, not Dominic Raab. He said that um, the cabinet member he got rid of was uh, a snake, according to a source, mm -hmm. and that he had no time for him in the cabinet. Now, we'll have to wait and see what happens now because he has now officially, we've heard reports that he is leaving, but we haven't yet heard a statement from the prime minister himself. Absolutely, indeed. And now, at this point of time, we're given to understand that Boris Johnson is, according to reports, will quit by today, but he'll stay on till the end of autumn, till a new leader from the Tory party is chosen to take over as the next Prime Minister. Now, you, you've been tracking the story very closely for us till, till this morning. Boris Johnson had, in fact, stuck his heels in. Despite the mutiny that he was facing, he had said that he had the mandate from the people He'd also recently survived a word of no confidence against him. So what's changed since then enough? Well, the short answer is he simply lost support of his cabinet. Even until the very end, his cabinet were very firmly standing by him. They were sent out every morning to speak to the press and tell them how well the prime minister was doing, how much confidence they had in him and how he would continue. Now, just yesterday, well, at two days ago now, we saw the first two big cabinet members hand in their resignations. And this really was the trigger that launched the rest. And once we'd seen those two resignations, they just kept coming, both senior ministers and also more junior ministers and ministerial aides. We also saw other MPs start to put their name in the ring to potentially put their name forward for uh, to become the next leader of the Conservative Party. And so when the, when the prime minister simply didn't have the support of his own cabinet anymore, he couldn't continue. Now, we've also seen party members, Conservative party members, lose faith in the Prime Minister. 
and we saw a poll that came out recently that said the majority of Conservative members want him to go and 69%, so almost 70% of the public more widely think it's time for Boris Johnson to resign. And so the reality is he simply doesn't have the support to continue. There were even reports that he wouldn't be able to fill the positions that were so quickly being evacuated. Absolutely indeed. Now, according to reports, because these are still reports, he said that he would want to stay on as the Prime Minister till the end of autumn. Uh, now, now, looking at the confidence that he enjoys from the members of his own party, is it likely that he could be you know, not allowed to stay on even till autumn? Would he be forced to quit and move out before that from 10 Downing Street? Well, we're really not sure of the details yet, as this literally is emerging as we speak. However, I think if there is a deadline for him going, I think more people will feel confident that he will, you know, he has said he's going to leave and he will resign. There is, of course, the possibility that his deputy prime minister, Dominic Raab, could step up in that interim period, or even a more neutral third party uh, representative could stand in to be that prime minister. So just in that interim period, it's not clear. We were seeing reports that the 1922 committee which was a which is a committee of conservative backbenchers was going to was reporting that they might change the rules so that there could be another vote of no confidence and that would obviously trigger things more quickly especially if he doesn't say he's going to resign or if you know if we get closer to the time and it looks like he's not going anywhere as we saw with Donald Trump over in the United States and in fact the two have increasingly been compared in the media and actually by other conservative MPs over the past 24 hours. And so we really will get to an unprecedented situation if the Prime Minister simply refuses to go when his time is up. Absolutely, indeed. We are already in an unprecedented situation. 50 of the members of the government have quit in, in what many would say is something that has not perhaps happened in recent living memory. Boris Johnson will, do on, will no longer continue, of course, as the Prime Minister. Thank you very much indeed there for joining us, Sally Patterson from London, and getting us all those updates. These are, at this point of time, still reports. We expect to hear something from 10 Downing Street that would give us something more concrete in terms of these political developments that are unfolding, taken fast, from 10 Downing Street. Boris Johnson, the very mercurial Prime Minister of Britain, may no longer continue in his office. And he said that he wants to stay on until autumn. But the question, of course, is... Will he be allowed to do so by his own party members? This, of course, is a big story that we'll continue to track on Vyond. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.